A man's personality and character is exuded through his haircut. Your image is important. Our high-end services range from a traditional haircut and shave to gray blending, beard shaping, and unwanted hair removal. Located at 425 Victoria Avenue East, book your appointment online now at modernmen.ca or call Tammy, 306-522-4111. Modern Men, a haircut for the modern man. Hello, I'm Sean McNall, owner of TG Marketing. We are a promotional product company located in Regina, Saskatchewan. Originally founded by Tom G. McNall in 1985, we are now in our 35th year of business. My brother Ryan and I, along with our great staff, have carried the torch since Tom retired in 2011. For those of you who don't know what we do, we sell items with a company's logo on it like clothing, pens, phone chargers, Bluetooth speakers. The list of products available is endless. Our products are a great form of advertising. Whether you want to give a gift to a valued client or show your appreciation to your staff, we have a friendly team that can help find the right product for your needs. The key to our success has been our customer service and our vast knowledge of products in our industry. We ask the right questions to get you in line with the proper product for the project you are working on. Stop by 1046 Winnipeg Street and view our showroom. Get some ideas for that next promotion you're working on. Let's make your business what everyone's talking about. Boston, Chicago, New York, Philadelphia, Washington, D.C. How about that? Washington, Oregon, Idaho, California, Arizona, Colorado, Oklahoma, Florida, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Indiana, Vermont, Maine. I've been everywhere, man. <laughs> this is the Rod Peterson Show. <laughs> It is happy Flame Tech Football Friday, everybody. Welcome to the RP Show. We are underway and in the air. Please do not leave your seats for the next two hours. Yeah. But we're not going through any turbulence here. Uh, Welcome to the warm-up of the program today. It's uh, the fastest and best two hours of sports talk in the nation. But this particular point right here is the warm-up brought to you by the Four Seasons Sports Palace. And uh, RP here, Darren Moose DuPont there, and we got the GOAT on the couch. That means greatest of all time, Lynch. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here you go. I agree. <laughs> a Hall of Fame writer, broadcaster, John Frenzy will be joining us in segment two. Very humble. A lot of our regular um, crew here on the Friday of Super Bowl week is what it is. Tori Gurley, our NFL insider, will be with us to preview Ch- uh, the uh, Chiefs. I almost said the Chucks. I got Charleston Hughes on my mind. <sighs> Chuck, the Bucks and the Chiefs. Super Bowl 55. Tori will have the last word. Johnny Avello will be joining us, the Vegas odds maker. See how he's broken down this matchup. Not just who's going to win and by how much, but all those little prop bets we've been running this week in our um, our daily polls. Who will have more rushing yards? Who will have more receiving yards? Who will have more passing yards? Johnny will get to the bottom of all that. And then a very special guest coming up near the end of the program today, near the end of hour two. We'll save that for a little later on. But uh, are you ready, dupes, with the quick six show topics? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go. Thank you, Director Jordan. And I'll say this. This is the best technical crew I've ever worked with. There's no doubt about it. We had an issue with the viewer comments yesterday. And while it's not entirely fixed, the world's fastest pit crew has shimmied something. They've MacGyvered something. Yeah. Don't worry about it. 
The uh, so we got comments, just not the way we're normally used to. So my Dale Mike's watching. He says no turbulence. I doubt it. Well, Mike, we're trying to put people in a good mood. I don't think that we, it'll go. It won't go entirely smooth. But let's jump to the topics. Then I'll get to the uh, to the uh, viewer comments. Super Bowl Fifty Five is basically here. You know, I was watching Super Bowl 55 coverage this morning on ESPN, get up, and it was, it's the it's the final picks, right, Darren, yeah. for everybody? Because that crew's not going to have another chance. We're not going to have another chance. We're going to post our picks later on in the day. Um, and even the most hardened, grizzled football vets are saying, yep, 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 yep. This is the best matchup of all time. I think so. <laughs> Isn't that great? I think so, like... You know, I'm going through and I usually write my my article on rodpeterson.com with my picks. And it, we're going to put everybody's picks in there this week. But I was started writing it today um, and I started writing all the storylines that have come up on the show. And it is. I mean, you look at, you know, young goat, goat versus old goat, Brady and Mahomes, you know. Old goat versus new goat, right? Gronk versus Kelsey. Tons, tons of stories. Home field advantage. There's so many storylines. It's wonderful. So 5.30 kickoff central on uh, Sunday. It's going to be big fun. Director Jordan writing in regarding the MacGyver fix to the comments here. He says, I may or may not have come up with it in the shower this morning. Okay. <clears throat> Point two. What to? I don't know. Nobody even broke out laughing. <laughs> what an image. Okay. Thursday NHL leftovers brought to you by Tupperware. I don't have the actual scores in front of me, but one the Habs lose to the Montreal uh, to the Ottawa Senators. What was the final score? Three, three to two. Three two. Yeah. Uh, I said it had to be the jerseys. It had to be the jerseys. That's what the hockey people would blame it on, right? Yep. Couldn't have been us. It had to be this new look, this new reverse retro, which frankly I thought looked pretty darn cool. Oh yeah. The blue base with the red and white trim. No, the Habs. You're not going to win them all, right? Just doesn't help when you lose to the worst team in the league. Point two, Stutzla should have gone number one. He's playing like it. I think he had a goal and two assists last night. Mm -hmm. He's really outplaying Alexi Lafreniere to this point. Just saying, Tim Stutzla kind of came out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. Until really Alex did. Trebek said his name. On draft day, we didn't. We'd known who Alexi Lafreniere is for the last three years. Yep. Who's this Stutzla guy? Up until a month ago, people were calling him Stutzel and Schnitzel and <laughs> Strudel. <laughs> Strudel, <laughs> right? Oh, that's the coach of the Pats. <laughs> so I'm just saying, Stutzla look is looking like the number one overall pick should have been. Uh, point three: Vancouver looked listless, and did they get smoked by your Leafs? Yes. Seven two. Yeah. Three. Seven, three. So here's the thing. I was watching the Jets. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I didn't tune in to any of the Leafs-Canucks game, but Twitter handled it all for me. Wow, are they upset on the West Coast at the Vancouver Canucks, calling for firings, calling for uh, demotions, all the rest. And it's funny. I've been in this business 30-plus years, used the term listless probably hundreds of times, never really knew what it meant. I just know that it's bad. It's got to be bad. They like look them. listless out there. What's listless, Rod? I don't actually know. I'll Google it. So I, yeah. I Googled it. Lacking energy and enthusiasm. So whomever came up with the term listless years ago, maybe it was Howie Meeker, maybe it was Brian McFarlane. They had it. They nailed it because that was Vancouver last night. It absolutely was. And there's clearly a lot of talent on the Vancouver Canucks. There is. And we know Travis Green's a great coach, but there's just something missing with that group. Um, you know, not getting shots. When they had opportunities, they can score. We know that. And they did. But it's three times. But, no, Toronto just outplayed them up and down the ice. Jason Spezza turning back the clock with a hat trick. He's got some renewed energy. Um, it, was a, it was a lot of fun. I'm interrupting the leftovers for a couple comments here from Joe Lazito on Long Island. He says, happy Frenzy Friday, everyone. Because sports absolutely do matter. I just wanted to point out the American Hockey League starts this afternoon. Best of luck for as smooth a season as possible. I was like, yeah, it's February 5th. The A is starting today. It's also Don Cherry's birthday. And Billy Revnick, the owner and operator of Ultimate Fan Zone, one of our fine sponsors. So Great. February 5th is a big day. Jennifer Illingworth writes in and she says, loved the Jets and Sens wins last night. So moving on, 2.4. Come on, Flames. I had you number one. 
And while I am cheering for the Jets in matchups against the Calgary Flames, can you do something out there, Calgary? Like their head coach, Jeff Ward, said after the game, we're, we're soft. Is there a worse term other than listless? Soft is worse than listless. Yeah, it really is. Soft is, you don't want to hear soft when you're a hockey player. You really don't. Or an athlete of any kind. It's just, yeah, it's up there. Softer than baby food. <laughs> and I was on TSN 1290 this morning in Winnipeg, and Troy Westwood said, what do the Flames need to do, Rod? I'm like, they have everything. If you didn't notice, they got the best goalie, Jacob Markstrom, that was available in free agency because Connor Hellebuck out goaltended him last night. There's no excuse for the Flames being out of a playoff position as we sit here today. And point five is not, well, it is NHL related, but it's not. Wear a mask, wash your hands. Here's why. I was talking to health officials yesterday. Sorry, I didn't be the bearer of bad news. But they're saying, forget about fall. It, it's looking like at least another year of this. Oh, no. Yep. Health measures, 50% restaurant capacity, no amateur sports. And the biggest reason is because people aren't following the health and safety guidelines. That's it. And it's, it's not that <clears throat> it's because of the mutation of the virus. And I'm not a doctor. I just play one on TV. I'm not, I'm not going to get into, into their details. But it's like if people would just follow the simple health and safety guidelines, we wouldn't be looking at another year or more. There's a very good chance it'll be more. And I understand that my lifestyle is a lot different than a lot of other people's. I go to work and I go home. That is about it. Maybe go out to a restaurant the odd time, order in. But y'all, you never see me outside without a mask. I'm always washing my hands. I'm following the rules. I don't like it. And it just as we go along here, coming up on one year of the pandemic, less and less and less people are following the rules, Darren, and it's causing a bigger problem. Well, Fair? yeah, we're not, we're not tasked with making those decisions, right? It's not our job to make those decisions. We're not qualified to make those decisions. Right. That's what the government and health officials do. We yeah. don't it, like them or don't like them. We need to follow them. Right. We can disagree with them, but we still need to follow them even while we're disagreeing with them. Right. Yeah. Right. It's and the only way that we're going to come out of yeah, it. Having said all that, I don't like that. There's no sports. We are a sports show. And yeah, we can talk NHL, NFL till the cows come home. But it's not like I don't love my CFL, NLL, WHL. So if those leagues can find a way to play safely, then they should be allowed to play. Not a blanket for everybody. But I'm just saying, wash your hands, wear a mask, and we would be a lot further ahead here. Yeah. Kind of getting hung up on point two, so I'll move on. Point three, we're a couple of days late on this, but the NHL was late coming out with what they call their Power 16 power rankings. I've whittled it into the top five. Are you ready, Darren? I'm ready. Number one, according to NHL.com writers, Tampa Bay Lightning, two, Montreal Canadiens, three, the Vegas Golden Knights, and I barely remember watching them play. I'm a little surprised they're that high. Yeah. Point four, the Washington Capitals, and point five, the Dallas Stars, newcomers to the top five. As we move on to point four, the RP show, bottom five. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, that seems to have a little bit of sizzle to it, doesn't it? Yeah. Somebody said you need a waste disposal company to sponsor that. Yeah. The bottom five. Do you know any? Or uh, I do. Or maybe the, you know, Bronco, the plumbing gets, <laughs> gets into the bottom yeah, five. Yeah, something. In the bottom of the sink. Yeah, a clean flush. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom five of the National Hockey League. they got to go from bottom up. The worst Ottawa Senators. The second worst San Jose Sharks. The third worst, the preferred team of Rockstar Supply Chain Solutions, Detroit Red Wings. The fourth worst. Sorry, Joe Lazito. The New York Islanders. Ooh. And the fifth worst, the Los Angeles Kings. Any arguments with the bottom five? No, I don't like seeing the Islanders in there. I think they're better than their record. I think they're better than their spot in the power rankings, the Islanders. That's tough. And the other one I heard about, and this is not to, you know, add to the wound for, for Darnell, but um, 400 and some days since a goaltender other than Jonathan Bernier won a game for, for they just Detroit. Had it. Just had it. Just this had week. it. Yeah. Like <laughs> unbelievable. I know. Uh, point five. To the CFL as it is Flame Tech Football Friday. 
I was on Winnipeg Radio this morning, and West was a Westwood or Jim Toth put to me, did the Riders, it was Toth, did the Riders make a mistake by not re-signing Charleston Hughes? Well, you don't need to take my word for it. Wait till John Frenzy joins us here in the next block. He's got very strong thoughts on that. He's been saying it for weeks. You don't let go of your stars, especially when it's down to a four-figure difference. I think they made a mistake. This is the sack king of the Canadian Football League. Look how happy the Argos are to have him. Look at what a fan favorite that he is. So I think it was a mistake. What do you think? Yeah, I do. I do think it was a mistake. I think especially in this time where you really need your fans back, it's not about necessarily the talent on the field. I mean, it is. You need to have the best team on the field. Wins, is, the best way to market is winning, yep. right? But you need to have the every key to mar- every you know advantage you can have marketing a football team, you need to have because you need fans in the stands. And that's familiar players, fan favorites, all of those things. Right so it's, it's worth so much more today than it is on a normal year. Point six, WHL return to play. Wednesday night, Jeff Merrick tweeted that there was going to be a Regina bubble. On Thursday, all kinds of WHL people were in a rush to say that report was premature. I don't know. Moose here made it very eloquently said yesterday, is this like the Rod Peterson CFL reports that are actually true but just premature and they eventually come to fruition? Or is this actually not true at all? We don't know. But what I was told was... They've been told to plan for a bubble. They've been told to prepare for a bubble, but they were told not to say anything. But unfortunately, that's not going to happen, right? You you really only, I think, can tell one person per organization. That's it. I'm not telling the WHL how to do their business. What I'm saying is don't expect it to be a secret. So Lynch in the car right up here says, are they going to play in Regina? I don't know. That's the plan, John, but they got a long ways to go. That's what all the WHL GMs were saying yesterday. Yeah. So our fingers continue to be crossed, but nothing's done that. That uh, That's the quick six show topics here for the four seasons. But the bonus points, I got a couple. The TSN cuts yesterday. Dan O'Toole, Natasha Staniszewski, Brent Wallace, among others. A lot of guys that you haven't heard of or I haven't heard of still lost their job. Doesn't make it any less painful. Um, Jamie in... Nova Scotia writes in on the Prairie Mobile text line. He says, uh, writes us at 306-840-8777. Jamie from the 902. What a sad day it was to hear Dan O'Toole was relieved of his duties at TSN. And now there is no more Jay and Dan. Why? Bad enough. Soon to be no more Tim and Sid. But that's because Sid saw the writing on the wall. And he jumped out of that boiling kettle and joined breakfast television so the reason I put up all the posts about Dan O'Toole is he's been a good friend of mine over the years Natasha Staniszewski the only dealings I had with her was in the Saskatoon Saskatchewan Place press box she was coming down the stairs I was going up the stairs she was reading the game notes and uh she's quiet she keeps to herself Dan O'Toole is like you know what I mean he's out You don't see Natasha at a ton of, at least I have. You don't see her on this banquet trail or the speaking trail or all the things that you see Jay and Dan on, right? So that's all I'm, it's not like I'm not not upset for Natasha Staniszewski, but guess what? As a guy that's been whacked a couple of times right here, you'll live to see another day. There's a very good chance this might be the best thing that ever happened to both of them. And actually, I'll give you 60 seconds in the sun because you said it in our pre-show meeting here. You want to tell the folks what you were saying to me? Yeah, I mean... It becomes a sense of where your brand is and who's in control of of your success, right? And at the end of the day, you want to be in control of your success. You don't want somebody else in control of your success. And clearly you've proven that, right? Because we've been able to pivot into the show and what we do on a daily basis, we're in control. You know, if we're going to have success or if we're not going to have success, it's up to us. Now it's up to those two. They've built really great brands, but they're in control of the success they have. And now they're free to freelance, exactly. to speak. But they have to now understand that they're the business, right? They are the business for themselves. And they have to now find the opportunities. If anybody can pull it off, it's Dan O'Toole and Natasha Staniszewski. Should be. Because they're that talented. If not. And they've got the experience and they've got the brand. So they will be just fine. That's why two years ago... When I was telling everybody when I left the Rough Riders, I'm never putting my fate in somebody else's hand again. Never. And you didn't understand what it meant by that. Now you're seeing why. That's all. 
Can you put the comment up from Barry Alt? He's a good friend of mine, guys, regarding the Charleston Hughes. Can you, can you find it? There's been a lot of comments have come in here. If Charleston Hughes says he offered a pay decrease and the riders didn't sniff, what the hell? O'Day says they made an offer, and that was kind of it. Charleston Hughes is on your show, and poof, he's in Toronto a few hours later. Riders never had any intention in my mind, but get O'Day on here to answer some questions. Oh, they've got more than enough channels to answer their own questions. That's all. I just find it interesting the way the word's coming out from the Rough Riders. You're going to be criticized. Why are they upset? Welcome to pro football. Oh, yeah. And speaking of that, Tori Gurley joins us next and John Frenzy. We'll see you back a little later. We'll see you later. Okay. This has been the warm-up for the Four Seasons Sports Palace. You're watching the RP Show on Game Plus TV Network, live daily on YouTube and Facebook, and listen live for Suds Full Service Car Wash at rodpeterson.com. Head to youtube.com slash the Rod Peterson Show now. You got to subscribe. Click the subscribe button for all the content you may have missed. An original 16 to fit your active lifestyle. Introducing original 16 Canadian Ultra Lager. Just 80 calories and 2.5% alcohol. Taste without compromise. Universal Collision Center is Saskatchewan's premier auto body shop. Our extensive process ensures that every vehicle that comes through our state-of-the-art facilities is returned pre-accident condition and that every UCC customer experience is an easy one. We're certified to repair all makes, all models, and all luxury brands, and Universal Auto Spa offers full-service detailing packages to suit you and your vehicle. Plus, we're the official body shop of your Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Universal Collision Center, 3910 Rochdale Boulevard, and 2355 First Avenue in Regina. At Prairie Mobile, you can get the phone you want when you want. All smartphones are $0 every day. With convenient locations across Saskatchewan, Prairie Mobile, your Sastel authorized dealer, has you covered. Visit us online at prairiemobile.com. Comfort has always been something we, as people, strive for. It means that the places we live and work, and that the people we care most about, are able to go about their lives focusing on the things that matter. While the world seems to be facing one challenge after another, our focus at FlameTech has remained the same for more than 20 years. Now more than ever, we need each other to support our local businesses. As an industry leader in combustion services, we are proud to attend to the needs of our communities and support the local economy. Some of the challenges we face with the CT technology that we have today is some of the deficiencies in around integration with some of our other systems. The addition of, of two new 40 simulators uh, within the programming of the Saskatchewan Cancer Agency is, is going to have significant impact on, on you know, the care we provide to the people of Saskatchewan. Nestled in the scenic Quapel Valley, just 20 minutes northwest of Regina, is one of the finest golf courses in all of Saskatchewan, the Deer Valley Golf Club. The clubhouse has a full-service restaurant, and customers can enjoy a casual dining experience with spectacular views of the golf course and valley. A fully stocked golf shop staffed by PGA of Canada professionals is equipped to meet all of your golf apparel and equipment needs. Book your tee time, family event, or corporate tournament today at the Deer Valley Golf Club. Call 306-731-1445. He's covering everything that matters to you. It's the Rod Peterson Show. Tune in live Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. to noon, to catch the show live and be a part of the action. Take control by commenting live and sharing the show with your friends. Honey, can you get one of the kids to show me how this Twitter thing works? Honey, I need to get on Instagram. Time for more of the Rod Peterson Show.
Okay, welcome back, everybody. And I just will ask Tori Gurley, our NFL on Saturday, just hold it for about another two more minutes because we're going to talk about Charleston Hughes. The biggest defensive name, I would suggest, in the Canadian Football League is now a Toronto Argonaut. Kyle Outridge is watching in Cambridge, Ontario, and he said, we are glad to have him in Toronto. And why wouldn't they be? They are going to love him. I can't now I think about him jumping around the field of BMO, sacking quarterbacks. It's a big deal for the double, double blue to have Charleston Hughes. And we say, good luck, Chuck. Do we ever. But the guy we love. Lynch, you're not done yet saying goodbye to Charleston. So. I'm not. Uh, your buddy was great. He was a great guy here. The fans loved him. You got to do something for the fans, uh, O'Day. You missed the boat there. This, they loved this guy. He was a heck of a guy. He's a great football player. Leading sack in the league the last four, last four years. Hell of a guy. He's a winner, a leader for $15,000. I don't know how you couldn't see that you want to keep this guy because the fans love him. Now you got to go find yourself a defensive end. They're hard to find. I've seen x Ren, Jurison, uh, John Chick. They're hard guys to find, these defensive ends. So you think you got somebody there? I don't know. And, and uh, I'm very disappointed about it. The guy was a heck of a guy, a real good guy to talk to, cared about Regina, wanted to live here, had a business of his own. Uh, it was a bad move. All right. Thank you, Frenzy. And we'll get more on this Flame Tech Football Friday later on from Frenzy on all of this. Flame Tech is your industry leader in combustion services. But let's bring in Tori Gurley. And f- before we jump into Sunday's game, Tampa Bay, Kansas City, and our Super Week coverage brought to you by Original 16 Ultra Canadian Lager Superior Taste with only 8 calories and 2.5% alcohol. Tori, the CFL's awake. Free agencies right around the corner. Your thoughts on a wild week in your former league. I'm so excited for the guys, especially with Charleston. Um, can't wait to watch him play for the for the Argos, man. They definitely need a pass rusher like him on the edge. And you know, I'm just gonna sit back and see exactly where the chips fall with the other players. But I'm I'm really excited, man. I'm hoping that they can make this season happen. And Edmonton's been busy too. One of your best friends is their quarterback, Trevor Harris. They got a new head coach in Jamie Elizondo. They did great things in Ottawa together. They re-signed Greg Ellingson for Vincent Rogers. Now they got the Lemonator. That's exciting too. Have you talked to Harris? No, I spoke with Coach Elizondo um, before he got the job, and I was just congratulating him. And um, it's one of those things that it, it all worked itself out. You know, as you can see, you have uh, Argos that are. Now the offensive coordinator for the Indianapolis Colts. You have Scott Milanovic, that's the quarterback coach. And now uh, you have Coach Jamie Elizondo as the head coach of the Edmonton Eskimo. Oh, Edmonton. So that is just, that's phenomenal. I'm happy for Trevor and all the other guys because now it's still the same system that we've ran uh, in the past. And I'm sorry for saying (laughs) we, but uh, the, the guys in Toronto as well as uh, Ottawa and I think it's going to be a big year if, if they have a season as I mentioned uh, when we initially spoke about the CFL I think this is going to be the year that Trevor Harris get that championship ring hang on everybody because Lynch has NFL questions but I'm not done the fans want to talk to you the Canadian viewers uh, Brian Warrishan he runs the BC Lions Den podcast he says pinball's getting involved in the negotiations and I know for a fact that he was with Charleston Hughes and honestly that really swayed Charleston in a lot of ways, too, wanting to go there. Pinball, as you know, could sell sugar to a baker, whatever you want to say. But uh, Craig Campbell from the Hockey Hall of Fame in downtown Toronto, here's his question. What really happened behind the Argos releasing yourself, Kevin Elliott, and Vidal Hazelton in October 2016? I remember the day, Tori. I didn't know you yet, but I woke up and saw that release, and here's what I thought. I'm like, hmm, must be a bunch of badasses. <laughs> That's what everybody thought. Here's your chance if you want, to set uh, the record straight? Of course. Uh, At the time, the team was spiraling down. You know, I was coming off an injury, and um, unfortunately, some things that the media did catch of me while I was playing, it was showing that intensity that I was always fired up. And Coach Milanovic and the, the staff of the Toronto Argos were able to use that against guys like myself and Kevin Elliott and and Vidal Hazelton, and they end up pushing us out of the door to save themselves. You know, if you look at if you look at what happened the remainder of the year, they struggled to win a game, and everybody would have thought it was because of us. But it showed that the team wasn't they weren't performing at that at that peak level. So instead of you know having guys 
like themselves to be on the to be fired. They just decided to get rid of us to be the escape goat. But that's part of business. I respect it. Um, you know, I, I I have nothing but good things to say about those uh, my teammates that I had in in Toronto and even the people in the staff. You know, things happen, and that's just part of sports. But um, I hate how the three of us were perceived to be guys that didn't care about playing football. Because if you go out and go, well, if anybody that watched us play, they saw that there were we were a bunch of guys that got after. It. So um, that's how that, that's how it works itself out. But hey, we're all doing well in life and. You know, I wish, you know, people in Toronto will. Yeah, that's the whole thing. It's not personal. You got to get over it. You got to move on. And you have. And you know what? It always works out better for all of us. Right, Tori? Dallas for Airchuk's watching. He says, uh, sugar to a baker, sand to the Saudis, ice to an Eskimo. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want to say. Listen, we'll come back to the viewer questions, Tori. It is Super Week. Super Bowl week. Lynch, what do you got? Here, regarding the big game on Sunday. Well, Tori, i got to ask you about that offensive line of the Kansas City Chiefs. It's, to say it's injury riddle is an under, understatement. Both guards are out, and one of the tackles, three starting offensive linemen, will not be playing in the Super Bowl for the Kansas City Chiefs. How big a plus is that going to be for uh, the, the, the Buccaneers? That definitely matters. Um, not having your offensive line in, to protect Patrick Mahomes, that, that's that's going to be extremely difficult because he really depends on uh, being able to escape, get out of the pocket, and make second reaction throws. So now, with you having backups in the game, you know, JPP and Shaq Barrett have done a great job of, of wreaking havoc. And as I mentioned the week before, uh, well, two weeks ago, when they played the Green Bay Packers in the NFC Championship game, the Bucks do have a front seven that can get after you. So that could really... Uh, put a damper on what the Chiefs want to do offensively when it comes to big plays downfield because now you can't hold the ball as long as you would if you had your starters in a game. I, you know, one or two linemen, but three offensive linemen. And they're really third stringers in a couple of cases there, virtually third stringers. I shouldn't say it like that, but they have not had a lot of experience playing, let's put it that way, certainly in big games. So to say it's a big game for those three guys is the understatement, eh? Yeah, and you're playing in the Super Bowl. You know, yeah. like you really didn't have that many reps throughout the year, and now you're getting ready to get somebody's ultimate and best performance. I mean, you're think about it. If you if you had a chance to play in the Super Bowl tomorrow on Sunday, as old as you are, you'll be able to get it done. You'll you you, <laughs> you, you got at least a couple plays in you to go out there and be great. So imagine going against someone that's primed and ready for this. So um, I would be very careful when it comes to backing the Kansas City Chiefs in this game because, yes, it's easy to look at the, the skilled players on a perimeter, but the games are won and lost in the trenches. Tori, there is so much, if you just dissect the rosters about this football game. Like, for instance, Le'Veon Bell wanted out of New York. He got it, and now he's in the Super Bowl. A.B., we don't need to go through his history. Leonard Fournette wants out of Jacksonville. He gets out, and he only goes to the Buccaneers. Like, there's a lot of messages coming out of that. For instance, you could take a troubled child and make him fit into your locker room, right? Like, your thoughts on the malcontents that are going to take to the field here Sunday? That just lets you know in sports. You know, we just mentioned that with the Toronto Argonauts. Oh, Bedell, Kevin Elliott, and Tory Gurley, they're bad teammates, but you go to another team and play well and make it to the Super Bowl. So it, it happens all the time in sports, and that's why – Guys like, you know, me and you in this industry, being in the media, we give guys the opportunity to clear their name, to, you know, to share their side of the story. Because so many years ago, it was only one side of where it was coming from the front office. So now with the players having a voice, it just shows that, you know, sometimes it, th that team just doesn't have the right chemistry or the right fit. And that guy just needs the opportunity to go play elsewhere. Do you think the lack of crowds there, the lack of people being there right now because of the, of the uh, epidemic, uh, is going to affect the players as far as the atmosphere going on the field? Or, of course, they've been playing with no crowds all year long, but this is the big game, the Super Bowl. They expect the big crowds. And anyone that's been there before, which most of them have, I think a lot of them have anyway, the huge crowds, it's just been an unbelievable atmosphere. And it's going to be, I don't see a boring atmosphere, a dull atmosphere. There won't be anybody cheering that much. Uh, do you think that's going to be a big factor? No, it's going to be extremely loud. Um, even though it's just going to be twenty around 25,000, 
Uh, that's going to be the biggest crowd that all those teams have played played with this year. So it's going to be huge. And also, you have an opportunity to etch your name in history for the rest of your life and beyond, where you are in football immortality with being a Super Bowl champion. It can be one person or one million people. For that one game, guys are going to go above and beyond because this is it. You know, Tom Brady was, he's been the only guy that can say, hey, I've been to this thing, you know, eight or nine, maybe 10 times, but everyone else, this might be their one bite at the apple. And you want to make sure that um, you get a big piece. You come, you leave with those carrots on your hand. Uh, Tori, I don't know. Do you want to take a stab at this? Ivan Diablo is watching in our YouTube feed. He's got a couple of questions. How do you compare Charleston with Sean Lemon. Like, I believe Edmonton was in on Charleston Hughes this week, and then they signed Sean Lemon, and obviously they were out. How comparable are they, do you think? I would say with Char- he, Charleston, he's a guy that's more experienced. You know, uh, Sean Lemon is still um, scratching the surface of how great he could be. You know, it was someone that's just playing off ability, but Charleston, he's more of a technician. So he's been in the game longer, and he just knows how to get up funner. Uh, different offensive tackles and get sacks. But both guys are, you can't go wrong with either or because, you know, Lemon Drops had it had a hell of a run and it still is going. So, um, and, you know, I'm happy for both guys and I can't wait to watch them, you know, kick off whenever the season happens. You played with Lemon, right? Yeah, I played with Sean Lemon and the guys just, I mean, I watched him just really give our offensive linemen hard times where he understands leverage, but he was still learning. You know, that was the thing about it. Like he and I were, sit down and talk to each other about different moves and releases. And we're just kind of going back and forth, but watching um, Charleston for so long, he's been, he's a vet. So he knows how to rush the passer. I got to get a comment in here from Norway. Trent's watching. Trent says came in late because of family errands, but I stand by my prediction of Tampa Bay winning in the last minute. Home field advantage is a place, even with a reduced crowd regarding Arbuckle and Nichols in the CFL. The question of chemistry with teammates will come up if a 2021 season happens. Have a great weekend, everyone. It's not going to come up. Matt Nichols never played it down with the Argos, so now he just goes to Ottawa. Nick Arbuckle never played it down with the Red Blacks, and now he's going to line up with the Argos. I don't think there's no more chemistry depending on where they're at. They're new quarterbacks to new teams. But having said all of that, uh, Tori, it's a good point by Trent. Just in the last week in the Canadian Football League, and I'm going to get to the Goff-Stafford trade too, but how do you feel about how that went down with Toronto and Ottawa exchanging quarterbacks without really formally making a trade? That's how wild this business is. It, it, you know, it's out of your control, and that's why I never have a problem when a player wants to find an opportunity to get out because a team could just drop you and just like that, in the snap of a finger, you're not even on the roster anymore. So, you know, I hope it works out best for both of those QBs. I just realized we're almost out of time. So a quick thought on the golf Stafford trade. Who won it? Oh, Stafford. You know, he's getting he's, he gets to play with Sean McVay and all those weapons. He, they're going to be good. All right. I love it. Quick and dirty to the point. Tory Gurley's appearances along with John Frenzy is brought to you by Wheaton Kia. You can find them at North Regina at the corner of Albert and Avonhurst. Enjoy the game, sir. And con- congratulations on all the uh, recruiting prospects that you've signed up with your guys too. Do you want to tell our viewers what you're doing there? Yes. Well, I have two things. One, I'm sorry. I'm speaking a little different. I just had, uh, had some work done where I have these braces in my mouth, the Invisalign. So I'm getting used to talking. You're so fine. that's why I sound a little different, but, um, home field advantage is a company that my wife and I, we set up and it's to help young men out when it comes to recruiting. If it's division one, division two, or division three, and it's been extremely gratifying to help these kids get looks. You know, I have guys from freshmen in high school to seniors in high school, and we're helping them get scholarships. And, you know, it's great. Um, you can sign up at ToryGurley.com. If you, if you have someone that's interested that they have the ability to play at the next level, we'll take a look at them. If, and if so, we can get the ball rolling. What's your prediction for Sunday? Woo, give me the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Yeah, I'm going with Tom Brady. Bye. 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 Oh, how I'm much? Just taking a win. I, yeah. I, I, I'm <laughs> Straight just take, up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're going to win. Not going to say. Not going to say on the trophy what, uh, by how much. All right, Tori. Thanks for this, man. Enjoy the weekend. All right. Thanks for having me. Another guy that's got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We'll take a break and come back with our CFL report, our 
sports update and viewer takeover. You're watching the RP Show, brought to you on Fridays by Flame Tech and Wheaton Kia on Game Plus Television, live daily on YouTube and Facebook, and listen live for Suds Full Service Car Wash at rodpeterson.com. Head to youtube.com slash the Rod Peterson Show now. You gotta subscribe. Click the subscribe button for all the content you may have missed. Bronco Plumbing and Heating, proudly serving Regina and surrounding areas since 1978. We are excited to announce the new Bryant Furnace Trade and Allowance Program. If you have a working Bryant Furnace, 15 years old or less, you may be eligible to receive a new furnace at a discounted rate. If you'd like to take advantage of the Bryant Trade and Program or to hear how we can help improve your home, give us a call today at 306-781-2090. It's time to trade and upgrade at Capital Ford Lincoln. We continue to follow strict COVID-19 guidelines, but we've also made it easier than ever to skip the showroom and shop online. Trade up to an all-new 2021 Ford F-150 Explorer or 2020 Ford Escape and get super low payments and super high trade-in values all month long. Plus, shop online or in-store and shop worry-free with our great selection of thoroughly inspected pre-owned vehicles. It's time to trade and upgrade at Capital Ford Lincoln in Regina. Look like the pros. Shop Ultimate Fan Zone. NHL, NFL, MLB, CFL, NBA, and more. We have something for every sports fan. Autographed jerseys, prints, jersey stitching, custom framing, and collectibles. UFZ is your one-stop sports store offering fans official team gear. Check out Saskatchewan's Man Cave Corner on River and Main, downtown Moose Jaw, or visit us online at ultimatefanzone.ca. Built by fans for the fans. Direct West has been the bridge for me from not dealing with social media or digital presence to having a presence. You have to take the leap of faith, so to say. And I'm glad we have. Direct West has helped us out immensely to get our presence online as far as digitally and also with the social media page. To see the results is just, uh, just puts a smile on your face. <laughs> hey, it's Warren Dean. I understand more than anyone how changing weather affects your day, and that's no different for your vehicle. That's why I look to the experts at Suds Full Service Car Wash. They have a wide range of exterior washes, including Lava Shield with Towel Dry. Looking good, Natalie and Kirby. And don't forget their famous Suds Ultimate. Thoroughly cleans the interior of your car. Open Monday to Saturday, no appointment necessary. Head to Suds Full Service Car Wash today, where they treat you like family. Does this look familiar? Your fans deserve an incredible arena experience. It's time for an upgrade. Stunning graphics. Revenue opportunities are just the beginning with our in-venue display systems and scoring technology. Let us help you find the best solution for your facility. DDG, always delivering the best fan experience. Find us at ddgregina.com. IKS Live. IKS Live. Western Canada's premier production services company. LED. LED sign rental. Video. Video production. Event. Event management. Look no further than IKS Live. Visit our website. IKS Live. Always the best seat in the house. IKS Live. Did you know you can catch all the best moments from the show on all our social media platforms? Now back to the studio with Rob. Welcome back, everybody. The uh, Kinsman Telemiracle 50-50 raffle lottery is live. Look at this. Jumped another $10,000 plus thousand dollars overnight. And we thank you, Kinsman Telemiracle, to coming to us to help you promote this first ever 50-50 because of COVID. You can wreak havoc on the world. And for those that don't know outside this province, what Telemiracle does, the Kinsman Foundation is helping people every day improve their quality of life and independence through gifts of mobility equipment and medical travel assistance as a lifelong Saskatchewan guy. <sighs> We've all been touched by Kinsman Telemiracle with the gifts that they've given to people that we know. Lynch, you would be included in that, right? Yep. You know people that have benefited oh, from definitely. the Kinsman, money raised through the Telemiracle. So anyways, the you can purchase tickets at, Kins, at uh, telemiracle5050.ca. You can purchase one for $20, five for $50, 
20 tickets for $100 or 100 for $250. And time is actually running out. The draw will be made February 26th and announced on February 27th, just prior to Teller Miracle 45 on CTV. Get your tickets this weekend, tellermiracle5050.ca. To the Prairie Mobile text line, I'm just going to read these. I'm not necessarily going to uh, debate them. From Ken in Saskatoon, Charleston Hughes release will most likely go down in history for O'Day, like Dressler and Chick being released by Ken by Chris Jones. That's from Ken in Saskatoon. And from Brady, hey, Rod, Chiefs win 37-34 this Sunday. Sad to see Charleston Hughes go. One hell of a teammate, player, and human. And says, Raptors about to get clapped by the Nets. Okay, well, I wasn't even thinking about the Raptors, but Brady is. You watch that game and report on us for it, Brady. How's that sound? Metal Shingle Guy writes in, and he says, when Leonard, Jeter, or Bishop come off the edge and get a sack, it will be Charleston who? Okay, needs some proven linebackers. Spend the money there. So there you go. And, And another one, by the way, Regan from the 780. He says, Regan from Alberta, Canada. Just want to get you guys' thoughts on the North Division and who you think is going to take the division. I'm still sticking with Calgary. I'm sorry. Lynch, who's going to win the Scotia North Division, the number one team? Who will win it? I think Edmonton's going to win. (laughs) I think they will. Don't laugh at me. It's a little early to be drinking, isn't it? (laughs) They're going to straighten things out. That guy's still going to coach. He was. I agree. He was too good. I mean, he, he knows I what's agree. going on there. And and Kenny, what? Kenny, what's the, my, 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 the um, GM's name? Kenny. Kenny uh, Holland. He's good. Well, they're fantastic. Yeah. But the players got to play. Well, no kidding. But you got the two best players in hockey. Not two of the best. The two best. Sure to God, they can work on another. Get one more line. One more line to be effective. That's all they need. The viewer named Hockey writes in and says, "Can Americans buy tickets?" No, they, you have to physically be in Saskatchewan. So get somebody in Saskatchewan to purchase tickets under your name. Send them the cash, and you have to be 19 years of age and over. Again, it's telemiracle5050.ca. To the sports update, Mason Appleton scored twice to lead the Winnipeg Jets to a 4-1 win over the Calgary Flames at Bell MTS Place. Kyle Connor and Mark Scheifele had the other goals for Winnipeg. Calgary forward Johnny Hockey had his nine-game point streak snapped in the loss. Jason Spezza was in 2008 mode at Scotiabank Arena. The 37-year-old recorded the eighth hat trick of his career and first in nearly five years as the Maple Leafs undressed the Vancouver Canucks 7-3. Vancouver's lost three in a row. Rookie Tim Stutzla had a goal and two assists, and the Ottawa Senators snapped the nine-game losing skid with a 3-2 victory over the Montreal Canadiens at Centre Bell. Americans Matthew Nismith and Mark Hubbard share the first round lead at the Waste Management Phoenix Open after opening with eight under 63s. Adam Hadwin of Abbotsford, BC is the top Canadian following a four under 67. Corey Connors of Listowel, Ontario is two under, while Abbotsford's Nick Taylor is one under. This sports update is for Ballers Rec Room. Call ahead and reserve your table for Super Bowl 55. Seating and space, of course, is limited. And for Red Bull Canada, Red Bull gives you wings. Hang on. A more expanded viewer takeover is next. You're watching a Flame Tech Football Friday right here on the RP Show on Game Plus TV Network, live daily on YouTube and Facebook, and listen live at rodpeterson.com. Head to YouTube.com We're slash the Rod Peterson Show right. now. No question about that. You gotta subscribe. Click the subscribe button for all the content you may have missed. Direct West provides us with stats and analytics, and, and it's amazing for us to look and see that, you know, each year we're 10 to 20 percent higher on our Google Leads. It's great to see the success that our, our locations are having. The Direct West app gives us an opportunity to be in one place for people to find uh, any of our locations or our commodities. Without Direct West, we would have to be in multiple digital places. I would recommend Direct West. They're great to work with. It's time to trade and upgrade at Capital GMC. We continue to follow strict COVID-19 guidelines, but we've also made it easier than ever to skip the showroom and shop online. Trade up to an all-new 2021 GMC Yukon, Sierra, or Buick Encore GX and get super low payments and super high trade-in values all month long. 
Plus, shop online or in-store and shop worry-free with our great selection of certified pre-owned vehicles. It's time to trade and upgrade at Capital GMC in Regina. Introducing Original 16 Hard Seltzer. The refreshing taste of delicious peach with vodka made in Saskatchewan. New Hard Seltzers from Original 16. People donate blood for moments like this. But there are lots of reasons why Canada's Lifeline needs donors every day. Like the fact that someone with leukemia can eat up to eight units of blood a week. Or that donated blood lasts no longer than 42 days. Or to help new moms and babies, like Henry. There's lots of reasons to donate blood. That's why we need donors every day. The need for blood is constant. Join Toyota and our Toyota dealers in supporting Canada's Lifeline. Rockstar Supply Chain Solutions is Saskatchewan's only full-service supply chain company. Strategic sourcing, PO creation, and order expediting, VMI and vending solutions, and free delivery are just a few of the supply chain services we provide. If your company needs it, Rockstar Supply Chain Solutions can get it for you. Price, quality, service, Rockstar Supply Chain Solution is helping Saskatchewan companies buy better. This right here is time well spent. Why not pour yourself a smooth Saskatchewan made original 16? Warm up to the opportunity to seize the day. Bronco Plumbing and Heating, proudly serving Regina and surrounding area since 1978. We are excited to announce the new Bryant Furnace Trade and Allowance Program. If you have a working Bryant Furnace, 15 years old or less, you may be eligible to receive a new furnace at a discounted rate. If you'd like to take advantage of the Bryant Trade-In Program or to hear how we can help improve your home, give us a call today at 306-781-2090. Does this look familiar? Your fans deserve an incredible arena experience. It's time for an upgrade. Stunning graphics. Revenue opportunities are just the beginning with our in-venue display systems and scoring technology. Let us help you find the best solution for your facility. DDG, always delivering the best fan experience. Find us at ddgregina.com. Send us your opinions now. We won't victimize you unless you really deserve it. Now back to your host, Rod Peterson. Welcome back to the RP Show, everybody. We got so much to get into. A wonderful comment here from Joe Lazito. We love him, don't we, Lynch? Sure do. Great guy. Uh, on Long Island, watching on uh, TDS Cable, he says, I get more hockey coverage in a two-hour episode of the Rod Peterson Show than I get in New York in a month. Plus, most of the hosts here know nothing about the sport. Plus, Rod talks all levels of hockey. As far as CFL coverage, there is less than zero down here. And now you wonder why a third of our audience is American and growing. By the way, Jessica Dracul in Winnipeg's watching. Can you put up her comment? I'd like to address it. I, uh, Jessica, where have you been? Can I say I love you and not freak you out or everybody else? She has not been around the show for a while. She says, as a Jets fan, I hear the Jets are horrible, so Flames should be concerned about losing to them. Jessica, I know you're more of a Bomber fan. <laughs> so this is what Paul Maurice was addressing this week. It was it was that clip. Who was the coach that said, all the negativity in this town sucks? Do you remember that? It was the old Vikings coach, and that's kind of what Paul Maurice was getting off his chest this week. We're 7-3-1, and one, third place in the Scotia North Division, which might be the toughest division in the National Hockey League. Good division. And you hear that the Jets are horrible? They're not horrible at all. And they took two or three off the Flames this week and schooled them Last night. So while the Jets aren't my team, I'm still in the Jets' corner. My team is Canada's team, the Vegas Golden Knights. And Lynch, by the way, you want to talk about the WHL bubble in Regina? Yeah. You want to we just mention that if you don't That's mind. It's great. Double H bubble could be a bubble in Regina. So the Western Hockey League, uh, Saskatchewan and Manitoba teams can play hockey this year. 24 game schedule, I believe. Regina is the ideal place for the bubble because of the extra rink. We have the cooperators rink over there with six, six extra yeah. rinks, and they're great. Beautiful ice out there. My grandson played a lot in that ice area. I've been there quite a bit. It's a 
great facility. It's a natural for the whole, uh, whole situation. And the arenas are close to each other. So the whole thing is just a sensational setup. And I, I think it's a good idea. Let's make it happen. Okay, you guys? Let's just not talk about it. All talk and no action is driving people crazy. I know. But let, that, the only thing is I'm giving the hockey people a pass for spilling the beans on the bubble just because they're so excited. It's like health people, don't get upset that this slipped, or even the league people. These guys have been sitting on their butts for 10 months, and they're just excited. So let's make it happen, and let's play some hockey. Jessica writes back in, I love you too. There's been no football. I've been working a lot. Well, don't just think your absence has not gone on unnoticed around here. <laughs> and John in Winnipeg, John Ohm... Um, where's he? He oh. says he's been working too much too. Everybody in Winnipeg is working. Craig Smith, our director of scouting, like the way the Jets played last night. Even the fourth line, go Jets! Here's the one thing that Jim Toth and I put our heads together on TSN 1290 this morning and realized: the Jets are the fastest team in the National Hockey League. I don't think there's any doubt, but they need to remember. The neutral zone goes both ways. You can go fast both ways. You know what I mean? You don't have to just go fast towards the other end's net. You can come back to your own net, too. But those fans in Winnipeg now, you know the Winnipeg fans, they are very touchy, very spoiled. They want the best. Spoiled? They want the best. Spoiled? Worth, they've never won a Stanley Cup, Lynch. I know, but they've, they've come close. It's been very frustrating. And they've lost at the end in the series. And it's, it's, it's hard. Robin and Prince Albert says uh, the cost on the WHL bubble would be huge. Maybe that's dot, dot, dot. Yeah, you got cut off. But, well, somebody's going to have to pay for this. And that's why I say kudos to the WHL owners and governors that are putting their balls on the table here. And they're saying we want to play for our players and our staff. It's what we hope the CFL does in 2021, too. They're saying, forget about the cost. We're playing because it's for the best of the league and the sport. <clears throat> Anyways, CFL report, speaking of, the Toronto Argonauts significantly upgraded their defensive line on Thursday, signing CFL veterans Charleston Hughes and Cordero Law. We already know the Chucky story, so we'll talk about Cordero. His playing rights were acquired in a trade with the Calgary Stampeders earlier this week. The 32-year-old was due to become a free agent next week. The five-year CFL veteran has 32 sacks in 48 career CFL games. That ain't bad, Lynch. It's no, almost won no, a game. No. So, the signings were the latest big moves by the Argos in a busy week. The team signed quarterback Nick Fatty Arbuckle yeah. after cutting fellow pivot Matt Nichols and acquiring Eric Rogers. That was a pretty silly event, those two quarterback switching. I know. But uh, well, we got to talk about that. Hang on. The Winnipeg Blue Bombers have signed American receiver returner Janarian Grant to a one-year contract extension. He is explosive. Pew. He speed, led the, speed, led the speed. Bombers with 591 yards and three for on uh, 41 punt returns, three for touchdowns in 2019. He returned two punts for touchdowns in his Bombers debut August 29th against Calgary. Remember that? Yeah, sure did. I was calling out Stampede special teams coach Mark Kittle that, that day, and then I realized, wait a minute, Mark wasn't on the field. <laughs> he wasn't the one that was out of his lane. He was great. The Edmonton football team has agreed to terms on a one-year extension with two-time CFL All-Star offensive lineman Sir Vincent Rogers, who is a heck of a friend of this show. So anyways. Love that name, eh? Sir Vincent Rogers. He's been knighted. He Sir has Vincent, been he has been knighted for Rogers. What? For what though? <laughs> uh, hey, John in Edmonton says, "Does Frenzy think the CFL will play this year with fans or without fans?" Can you hang on, and we'll start hour two with that, plus re up in the quick six. And uh, Johnny Avello, Vegas uh, sports odds maker, will be joining us as well. So just tell you, you can shoot your comments into us through YouTube and Facebook, as well as on the Prairie Mobile text line three zero six eight four zero. 8777. So stick with us, everybody. Hour two is coming up across the Game Plus TV network. 10 provinces and 31 states are right here on your favorite digital platform. Head to youtube.com slash the Rod Peterson Show now. You gotta subscribe. Click the subscribe button for all the content you may have missed. Come on. 
Comfort has always been something we, as people, strive for. It means that the places we live and work, and that the people we care most about, are able to go about their lives focusing on the things that matter. While the world seems to be facing one challenge after another, our focus at Flametech has remained the same for more than 20 years. Now more than ever, we need each other to support our local businesses. As an industry leader in combustion services, we are proud to attend to the needs of our communities and support the local economy. At Prairie Mobile, you can get the phone you want when you want. All smartphones are $0 every day. With convenient locations across Saskatchewan, Prairie Mobile, your Sastel authorized dealer, has you covered. Visit us online at prairiemobile.com. An original 16 to fit your active lifestyle. Introducing Original 16 Canadian Ultra Lager. Just 80 calories and 2.5% alcohol. Taste without compromise. Nestled in the scenic Quapel Valley, just 20 minutes northwest of Regina, is one of the finest golf courses in all of Saskatchewan, the Deer Valley Golf Club. The clubhouse has a full-service restaurant, and customers can enjoy a casual dining experience with spectacular views of the golf course and valley. A fully stocked golf shop staffed by PGA of Canada professionals is equipped to meet all of your golf apparel and equipment needs. Book your tea time, family event, or corporate tournament today at the Deer Valley Golf Club. Call 306-731-1445. Bronco Plumbing and Heating. Proudly serving Regina and surrounding area since 1978. We are excited to announce the new Bryant Furnace Trade and Allowance Program. If you have a working Bryant Furnace, 15 years old or less, you may be eligible to receive a new furnace at a discounted rate. If you'd like to take advantage of the Bryant Trade-In Program or to hear how we can help improve your home, give us a call today at 306-781-2090. It's time to trade and upgrade at Capital Ford Lincoln. We continue to follow strict COVID-19 guidelines, but we've also made it easier than ever to skip the showroom and shop online. Trade up to an all-new 2021 Ford F-150 Explorer or 2020 Ford Escape and get super low payments and super high trade-in values all month long. Plus, shop online or in-store and shop worry-free with our great selection of thoroughly inspected pre-owned vehicles. It's time to trade and upgrade at Capital Ford Lincoln in Regina. Building a deeper connection with our fans by putting them in the show. It's a new era of sports talk. The Rod Peterson Show airs from 10 to noon, Monday to Friday on Facebook Live. Join the conversation today and tune in. Online, on your phone, at home, at work. Follow us on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. And subscribe on YouTube for all the content you want to watch. Don't wait, do it right now. No. We are airing in Boston, Chicago, New York, Philadelphia, Washington, D.C. How about that? Washington, Oregon, Idaho, California, Arizona, Colorado, Oklahoma, Florida, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Indiana, Vermont, Maine. I've been everywhere, man. <laughs> this is the Rod Peterson Show. It is. It is. And it's a Flame Tech Football Friday. And welcome to the RP Show, everybody. I'm just logging into YouTube now so I can converse with the viewers. It's hour two of the program today. It is Canada's daytime sports talk show. And here's what you missed. Our NFL insider was with us, Tori Gurley, Argos alum, NFL uh, grad as well, Packer and Brown. He predicted Tampa Bay would win by... He didn't say by how much. He said the Tampa Bay will win the Super Bowl on Sunday. And we got into Argos things. And all of a sudden, Lynch, our comment section's just overflowing with Argos A lot fans. of fans there. I believe there is a lot of fans. So you know, Tim will tell us. So a lot of fans. They've had lousy teams. It's been hard to get the stadium. It still is hard to get the stadium. But if they get people like, uh, uh, like Charleston Hughes... And the, the Arbuckle at the quarterback and Rodgers. So there's some excitement. Rodgers is a great receiver. Why Calgary let him go to Toronto is beyond me. But I guess there's something going on there. We don't know what it is. Well, I just, 
look, I could go on. Ivan Diablo writes in. He says, I was a Leafs fan since I was a wee child, but now all management really cares about is profit. Learn from Harold Ballard. See, so that's just one of many Leafs fans that have chimed, or uh, Argos fans that has chimed in. But listen, we can't, I can't let the inmates run the asylum. <laughs> well, we have a viewer takeover segment, and it's the last couple of segments of the show. Here is what we call the warm-up and the quick six show topics. And now, we went deep into these an hour ago. I'm just going to recap them right now. Please, Director Jordan, if you can, with the quick six. And while we're at it, I'm just calling up uh, a point that I'm going to get to. Number one, it is Super Bowl 55 week. This is the final Friday before the Super Bowl will be handed out on Sunday. This is not a shock. I've made a prediction that Tampa Bay will win by seven. I'm saying seven. Lynch, what's yours? Tampa Bay Buccaneers by 12, and Tom Brady will be the player of the game. A stomping, huh? Yep. A stomping. And one big reason will be the missing three linemen for uh, uh, Kansas City. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, Point two, leftovers from Thursday night, brought to you by Tupperware. My five NHL leftovers. Number one, the Leafs lost last night, 3-2 to the worst team in the NHL. Or the the Habs lost last night, 3-2 to the worst team in the NHL, the Montreal Canadiens. I'm saying it had to be the jerseys. Did you see the highlights? Beautiful blue base with red and white trim. You can't go wrong with red, white, and blue uniforms. For sure. But Shep- last night, the Habs lost to the worst team in the NHL. Shepard would be very upset. Eh? Tom Shepard would be very upset. He is the owner, former owner of the Rough Riders, and his team lost. Number two of my leftovers, Tim Stutzla should have gone number one overall in the NHL draft. He went number three to Ottawa. Right now, he's outshining Alexi Lafreniere in the Big Apple. Last night, Stutzla figured in on all of the Senators' goals. Point three, the Vancouver Canucks looked listless in a 7-2 loss at Toronto. I never really knew what listless meant. I've broadcast hockey games for 30-plus years, used the term hundreds if not thousands of times, never really knew what it meant. No energy. I Googled it. Lack of energy and enthusiasm. And actually, there was a picture of the Vancouver Canucks beside it. Point four. Come on, Flames. I had you number one in the Scotia North Division. And they still got time to figure it out. But they're languishing below 500. They lost in Winnipeg, dropped two or three. And last night, they didn't have it together. Either a fan or a Flame fan, you've got to be frustrated to death. eh, It's tough. Good team, a lot of talent there, but he just can't do it for some reason. It must be the air there, eh? (laughs) Lynch is taking the Edmonton Oilers to win the Scotia North Division. I'm not moving off the Calgary Flames, but you guys got to get it together. Your coach called you soft last night. Uh, Moving on. Oh, well, point five of my leftovers is... Wear your mask, wash your hands. And if we all have to double mask, triple mask, I don't like it, but we're going to have to do it. Because I heard from health people yesterday that this could go on for another year. And the only reason is people aren't following health and safety regulations. I'm not anti-sport. I'm not anti-business. I'm pro-sport and pro-business, but I'm also pro-rules. So that's all that I'm saying. Wear a mask, wash your hands. Point three. A day late, but the NHL.com came out with their... Power 16 rankings. I don't like that they only do the top 16. That's the playoff teams. I think you should rate all 31. But anyways, they came up with their top 16. Of those, I've cherry-picked the top five for you. This is according to NHL.com, the best teams in the NHL. Number one, the Tampa Bay Lightning. Number two, the Montreal Canadiens. Number three, Canada's team, the Vegas Golden Knights. Number four, the Washington Capitals. And number five, the Dallas Stars, the team for which my dad worked for 26 years. 2.4, here's the RP show, bottom five, because the NHL won't tell you, we will. (laughs) The worst team in the NHL is the Ottawa Senators. Surprise, surprise. They aren't you surprised. (laughs) They are who we thought they were. That's right. The second worst team in the NHL smells like fish, (laughs) San Jose Sharks. That's a surprise. Definitely a surprise. Point three is the preferred team of our proud sponsor, Rockstar Supply Chain Solutions. The Detroit Red Wings are the third worst team in the NHL. Fourth worst, the New York Islanders. Surprise. That is a major surprise. They got to get it together, too. Yep. And the fifth worst team is coached by another Sasky boy, the Los Angeles Kings, coached by Melville's Todd McClellan. So that's just of this week, and that's it. Point five, we move on to 
CFL free agency. Did the Saskatchewan Rough Riders make a mistake in letting Charleston Hughes go and allowing him to sign with the Toronto Argonauts? I bring that up because I was asked that this morning on TSN 1290 in Winnipeg. And I got to say, yeah, I think they did. This is the best defensive lineman in the Canadian Football League. The numbers show it. Yep. You pay based on numbers. And he's I, got him. I don't know how you get rid of him. I'd like to sit here with Jeremy O'Day and have him tell me why. You don't get rid of a talent like that. Stars like that. Good guys like that. Liked in town. Uh, players on the team love him. There's got to be something going on there, O'Day. Uh, I don't see it. I'll get to your comments, everybody, but they're personally asking me questions, and I can't. We're rolling here with the quick six show topics here in the warm-up. And that's our take. We thought a mistake was made by allowing Charleston Hughes to watch. Moving on to point six, and that is the Western Hockey League's return to play. The news came out Wednesday night via Twitter. Sportsnet's Jeff Merrick saying there will be a bubble in Regina, the Queen City, right here, the sweatpants capital with all East Division teams playing out of here. What we've pieced together over the last little while is that, yeah, they're talking about it. They'd like to do it, but nothing's been finalized. And my plea to the governments is that don't go too hard on the hockey people that they couldn't keep it a secret because they're so damn excited. And they've been following your rules and been sitting on their hands for 10 months. So they're going to follow this to the letter Hashtag let them play and bring the dub to the Queen City and let's drop the puck. Does that make sense, Lynch? Yeah, sure does. Common sense. It makes extremely good common sense because of the six extra sheets from the co-op center that are just walk away from the main uh, rider uh, from the main rink there. Um, natural. It's just a natural for and it must be great. Uh, I am going to open up the text line a little late early. Holy smokes. People are punchy. They want to talk today. And I'm good with that. Bob in Grand Prairie, Alberta, writing on the Prairie Mobile text line at 840-8777. Prairie Mobile is your authorized SaaS town mobility dealer, soon to be opening another location in central Alberta. He says, climb aboard the double E. Ride to the Grey Cup 2021. These Edmonton fans are excited, Lynch. Yeah, they are. And yeah. they should be. Yep. They got the coach they wanted. They yep. got the quarterback they wanted. They re-signed Jelly. The Jelly Man, Metal Shingle Guy writes in. He says, Hour 2, listen live is off the air. Got that, guys? We got no live audio right now. And for some reason, the viewers always come to me. Uh, no, they're telling me it's a you problem, Metal Shingle Guy. It's a you problem. <laughs> That's what they're telling me. <laughs> and <laughs> this, our next guest, we have a few minutes before we bring him on, but it's Johnny Avello, sports odds maker in Vegas and Cleaver is writing us from Swift Current and he writes and says do they give odds on what the first penalty will be that's a good question I've seen odds on will the halftime act the weekend mention Canada because they're Canadian do you think they'll mention Canada in the halftime act Lynch you could put a bet on that if you wanted no to. I don't think they will either Not a chance I don't think they will they make some sort of political statement some societal statement at halftime. No, nope. don't think so. Probably not. Nope. Canada, we're not as much that way. No. Nope. But here in the, uh, the warm-up for the Four Seasons Sports Palace, come in and warm up at the Four Seasons, your home for the NFL, we had viewers asking me to ask Lynch, the Don Cherry of football, happy birthday, Grapes, today, by the way, happy 87th, if the CFL will play this year. They're not asking me, they're asking you. I'm hoping and praying they will. That's not an answer. I think they will, but I think it'll be uh, a 10-game schedule starting on Labor Day. Really? Yep. With or without fans? With or without fans, yep. No, no. With or without fans? Without. It's the only way. It's the only way. They're going about things right now like we're going to play. Everybody's signing players. Coaches are signing. Lots of news. So I think they've got something in the back of their mind. I sure hope they have. Because people believe they're going to be, most people I talk to think they're going to be playing now. And there's a lot of them expect to go to the Montreal Alouette <laughs> game here on July the 10th or on uh, June the 10th. Whatever it go is. Go open the season. Yeah. What I keep hearing is that June and July are off the table. And what I'm hearing more of is they are making plans to play without fans in the Canadian Football League. It really is their only option. And they're going to give it a go. They are going to play. From our viewers, John in Edmonton says, the weekend is a guy, not a group. 
Rod, John, you can't even spell weekend. Don't talk to me. Uh, Stephen Jacobson's watching in America, in North Dakota. One of the 19 states that we don't air in. Can you get on that, Stephen? He says wardrobe malfunctions. Were you watching that Super Bowl when Janet Jackson's top flipped off? Oh, yeah. That was funny. <laughs> Why did they make that such a big deal? Why did they think that oh, was such people, a big deal? People do think. They, you know, the media do that. The networks don't have to do something like that. And you just play it and play it back again, talk about it. It's just a small incident, eh? I don't know why they do that. It was an accident. It was an accident, yeah. Glenn Erickson's watching in Medicine Hat, Alberta. And he says, so much talk about Brady and Mahomes, understandable, but has anybody been paying attention to how nasty the Tampa Bay defense has been this postseason? Yeah, I mean. We've got, been talking about it all week. They've got uh, two rookies playing their safety positions. So it's good. Yeah, that's right. So uh, if they give that quarterback any talent, the protection he likes, and he does have the blocking with these newcomers going into this game. He can pick up that secondary part of the Tampa Bay, no doubt about that. But I think he's going to be rushed every game, every play. He's going to have a lot of rush on him. That's tough, boy. Two guards on the, on the tackle, the left tackle. Eric Fisher, who's a pro bowler, a great football player, gone. That's got to hurt you. <sighs> I'm sticking with Tampa Bay to win by seven. I'm not going to get fancy like people that are saying it's going to go down to the final minute or it's going to go to overtime. I was watching ESPN get up all morning. They're all going with Tampa Bay. And you know why they're saying? Why? Because Tom Brady's playing. That's right. They <laughs> love Tom Brady, boy. The guy End is of story. football. Hey, what if he wins? What a great year if he wins. Man, that's unbelievable, boy. What will Bill Belichick think? Well, <laughs> just yesterday here on the program, Gus Farratt, if you guys missed it, Pro Bowl quarterback, I said to him, Who's responsible for the Patriot way, Bill Belichick or Tom Brady? You know what Gus Farratt said? Neither well, one. Tom's playing in the Super Bowl and Bill's at home. So <laughs> take your pick. Yeah. Will Bill be back there next year? I don't know. Belichick will be there until he decides to stop playing again. Yeah. Uh, Jeff in the zone writes in. He's watching on YouTube and he says, what do you guys think the Raptors are lacking? Do you guys see uh, us beating the big three tonight? Harden, Durant, and Kyrie? No. In Brooklyn? No. He says no. Do you know what the Raptors are are missing? Yeah, Some sure. experience. Yeah. That's all. I got. I have the roster here. Dupont. Here it is. Look. Yeah. I, don't I, I said you need a you need a roster to follow the Raptors because we have no idea who these guys are. Yeah. And here it is. Like yes, we know who OG Ananobi is. I would say we know who he is, right? Kyle Lowry, Fred Van Vliet, obviously. Yeah. But how about these guys? Well, the first round pick, Malachi Flynn. He's a rookie. He's a stud, but he's a rookie. Uh, going to be great. Stanley Johnson? No. Nope. He's not even a household name in his own house. Nope. <laughs> That's good. Jalen Harris. Terrence Davis, we know ish. But look, they just need some time. Kawhi Leonard is gone. Marcus Saul is not coming gone. Back, by the way. Serge Ibaka is gone. You all are expecting the same Raptors, and they're not the same Raptors. And remember, they started horribly, and Kyle Lowry said we need to play more intense. We need to play a full game. Nick Nurse, the head coach, was saying the same thing. What, well, do, I, the I, Raptor, I, what do the Raptors need? They are not the Brooklyn Nets. I so I think price. tonight the Raptors will get molly whopped. And thank you for the reminder, by the way. I'll be tuning in from Barclays after we watch Yellowstone. Anyways. I, I'm just surprised that a Nurse... And the, co the coach of the uh, Raptors wouldn't have gotten more experience in the offseason because he knows what it takes. Who's he trying to kid? He was trying to hold on to his guys. Yeah. That's what I think he was trying yeah. to do. But we got the best president and GM, Masai Ujiri. They've done it. They've been to the top of the mountain. Everybody expects <clears throat> they're not going to catch lightning in a bottle twice, okay? No. So just sit back and wait for this uh, rebuild because I think we're in a rebuild. Did I just say we regarding the Raptors? I'm starting to feel invested into hashtag we the north. We got Johnny Avello ready next. Okay. You got your questions for our DraftKings expert yep. for the Super Bowl yep. and what have you. This has been the warm up for the Four Seasons Sports Palace. Come in and warm up at the Four Seasons, your home for the National Football League.
You're watching the RP Show across all 10 provinces and 31 states on the Game Plus television network, live daily on YouTube and Facebook, and listen live for Suds Full Service Car Wash at rodpeterson.com. Head to youtube.com slash the Rod Peterson Show now. You gotta subscribe. Click the subscribe button for all the content you may have missed. IKS Live. IKS Live. Western Canada's premier production services company. LED. LED sign rental. Video. Video production. Event. Event management. Look no further than IKS Live. Visit our website. IKS Live. Always the best seat in the house. IKS Live. We started Suds Car Wash in 2003. There's a bit of us in every part of the business. I've been working here since I was about 10 years old. Hard to believe it's been 12 years since. Working with my family has been great. My mom and dad have taught us the importance of hard work. I've been here since I was 10 years old and my dad has taught me a lot about quality work. From all of us at Suds Car Wash, we make your car shine. Don't rack your brain trying to source the equipment and materials you need for your business. Rockstar can operate your entire supply chain, from PO creation to expediting your shipments, all from our office. Leverage the buying power of the Rockstar Buying Group to not only save money and time, but also the headache. From gloves to glue, we can provide it for you. Find out more at rockstar.com. Look like the pros. Shop Ultimate Fan Zone. NHL, NFL, MLB, CFL, NBA, and more. We have something for every sports fan. Autograph jerseys, prints, jersey stitching, custom framing, and collectibles. UFZ is your one-stop sports store offering fans official team gear. Check out Saskatchewan's Man Cave Corner on River and Main, downtown Moose Jaw, or visit us online at ultimatefanzone.ca. Built by fans for the fans. There's something for everyone at the Mad Greek Eatery. Delicious Greek dishes, pizza, lasagna, pastas, soups, salads, and much more. The Mad Greek Eatery brings the best authentic Greek cuisine right to you. Available for licensed dining, events, delivery, and takeout. For the best taste and huge portions, there is only one place. Visit the Mad Greek Eatery, downtown Moose Jaw. Call for takeout and delivery today. It's time to trade and upgrade at Capital GMC. We continue to follow strict COVID-19 guidelines, but we've also made it easier than ever to skip the showroom and shop online. Trade up to an all-new 2021 GMC Yukon, Sierra, or Buick Encore GX and get super low payments and super high trade-in values all month long. Plus, shop online or in-store and shop worry-free with our great selection of certified pre-owned vehicles. It's time to trade and upgrade at Capital GMC in Regina. Welcome back, everybody. It's a Flame Tech Football Friday. Flame Tech is your leader, industry leader in combustion services. Who'd have known that the Raptors would get everybody going here? <laughs> <laughs> and that he would know what he's talking about more than most. But anyways, let's go down to Vegas now. Our good and longtime friend, Johnny Avello, joins us. Sports Gaming Officer, Chief at uh, DraftKings. Happy Super Bowl weekend, Johnny. How are you, sir? Doing well, Rod. Thank you very much. Hey, I know that you were catching the tail end of the warm-up segment there. How did you enjoy the Raptors talk, man? You don't get much of that, I wouldn't think, in the in the Valley. No, we do. I mean, I, I like that team. I really do. I think, uh, you, you know, they, they, win a, they win a championship and they lose their main guy. And they're, they, they still have a quality team. And it's early in the season. I don't, everybody should just take it easy. They'll, they'll find their stride. 
See, and Canadians are no different than the Americans. It's win now yeah, or fire everybody. But, Johnny, they had that big season two years ago. They want it repeated. It's hard to settle for less, isn't it? You know? Yeah, you know, it's hard when you when you uh, look at you lose a key player. Uh, you know, it's hard to replace a player like that. But you do it, what you have and don't make some moves along the way. You try to make strategic moves. You don't make dumb moves. And that's Good what choice. I think hey, they're doing. Johnny, got to ask you the big question. I'm a believer here because we've had a couple of incidents here. You don't get rid of your stars, do you? You don't trade your stars or let them leave, do you? You keep them somehow, don't you? Yeah. You try. Uh, you know, sometimes it's out of your hands because the stars want to go somewhere else and they won't play for you and you have to let them go. But for the most part, no, you don't do it if they're not, if they won't, want to continue to stay with the franchise. For sure. Johnny, I know we're going to get to Super Bowl and prop bets and point spreads and all the rest, but let me ask you this. Wasn't that long ago that Vegas was, they didn't have one pro sports team, right? Now you got NHL and NFL. There were those that thought the NBA would be the first pro team in Sin City. Will will that happen, do you think? Well, when you, when you go back about 10, 12 years ago, our mayor at the time was trying to get an NBA team here. He wasn't shooting for a hockey team, wasn't shooting for a pro football team. And so those two came along first. I think you'll see it. I'll tell you why. Uh, you know why a lot of people were against it. They were they were saying, well, Vegas has got so much to offer. They have shows and nightlife and all these other amenities. Uh, why would people go to a game? Well, I, obviously the Knights proved that wrong, and the Raiders will also when we open up next year, and uh, and I think NBA may also. Well, that's cool, real cool. Okay, Lynch. Bef- what do you got for Johnny? He's going nuts. John, Trying to talk uh, to you, Johnny. Do you, do you see Brent Musburger around there? Is Brent Musburger in, in Vegas? Brent uh, Musburger. Brent Musburger. Yeah, Brent Musburger, I think, is up in Montana. Uh, he has a home up there. and so, But he is associated with the VSIN show, and uh, he does still do the show, and he still does the Raiders uh, football on the radio. Uh, if I may, that show, Visa and airs just before ours on Game Plus Network every day, Johnny. By the way, two hours, I think, with Gil Alexander on this very same TV channel across 10 provinces and 31 states. Visa is Vegas Sports and Information Network, right? Okay. That is correct. Yeah. Okay, Johnny, to the reason we got you on. <clears throat> there was a question that came in from a viewer and says, can you lay odds on what the first penalty will be? What are the zany prop bets and things you got here for the Super Bowl on Sunday? Well, we've got, you know, those, what they're called novelty props. You know, first it all starts with the coin toss and it goes to Gatorade color and it goes, will there be a trick play and uh, Fat Man TD, will an offensive lineman score a touchdown? Uh, yeah, we got all that crazy stuff up and uh, some of the customers like to bet it. They bet it small. Uh, the media likes to have fun with it and talk about it. But that's not where the real money comes. The real money comes on these other player props, things like uh, Tom Brady over 295 and a half yards, uh, Patrick Mahomes passing over 325 yards. That's where the real money comes in on the prop side. Well, so Frenzy, uh, Johnny said they got a team of around 100, right, there with, uh, with your sports book, with DraftKings. So how much work goes into setting the yards, yardage and uh, rushing yards per team or receiving yards for a tight end? What, what are the factors, Johnny? Well, remember, the AFC-NFC games are played on Sunday, and so we get the Super Bowl lineup probably before the last game ends, and we did – we did do that because, uh, you know, Kansas City won convincingly. The game was over with at least, you know, 10 minutes to go. So I think we put it up with about seven or eight minutes to go. So that's the first step. And then on Monday morning, we start working on the props. Now, we have a template, of course, of all the props we've been doing for all these years. So we start with that, and all we have to do is plug in the new teams and new players and then go and calculate and research odds. Uh, and then during the course of the next – week and a half we come up with some new props that we haven't done before and add to that menu next year same template add again so that's how the process takes place sure you got the template but you got different coordinators and you got different players right so how does that factor exactly. into things? how do you how do, how do, how do you well, yeah. yeah how do you adjust for that 
Well, it's a, it's the making the odds. We plug the gu- we plug the teams and the players in, but we have to go and make the odds, and that's what takes time. Sure, the template helps us not have to construct all new types of bets, but we still have to calculate the odds on every single one of those new odds. What's the biggest bet that you've held in your time on the Super Bowl? Somebody's come in and put down six figures, seven figures. What's the? Do you remember? Well, I've taken a lot of million dollar bets through my years, but it's funny you ask that, Rod, because yesterday we took a three point four million dollar bet on the Tampa Bay Bucks plus three and a half points. Um, and this is a this is a great story. I gotta tell you this guy. So the guy, he doesn't live in one of the jurisdictions where sports betting's legal. So he has to get there. He have to he has to get within the boundaries of one of those states. So he just happens to fly in his private jet up to that jurisdiction, load his account with the money, make the bet, and then fly out of that state. The whole thing took 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. So so is that what you've got? Is Chiefs by 3.5? Is that what we're going with today? What's what's Johnny's final that's money? He he is? That's your bet? No, that, <laughs> that's what he bet. Oh. Uh, that's what he bet. But that we've got so much money on this game so far. It seems like the Chiefs minus three, because we bounce back and forth between Chiefs minus three and Chiefs minus three and a half. So when we're at Chiefs minus three, that's a popular choice. As soon as we move the line to Chiefs minus three and a half, Tampa Bay is the popular choice. So we've bounced back and forth between those two lines about four or five times, and there's just a ton of money coming in on both sides. That is unbelievable. How much did home stadium factor in at all here for this game, Johnny? Well, if you go back to that, I talked about the AFC, NFC, um, you know, those matchups a couple Sundays ago. And on Saturday, we started thinking what this line should be on on any of the matchups. There were four teams left. This particular matchup, we came up with about Chiefs one and a half or two. We didn't give Tampa Bay a whole lot of uh, home field advantage because there's not going to be any Tampa Bay fans in the stands. Yeah, there's going to be about 25,000 fans, but there are going to be you know, uh, healthcare workers and others who the NFL is uh, gave, given free tickets to. Um, but they do have familiarity with the field and they don't have to leave their homes, whereas the Chiefs need to travel. So we gave about a half a point to a point. Now when the game takes place, it's what have you seen lately? And we saw the Chiefs have a really good finish. We saw Tampa Bay not have such a good finish. So we thought about three or three and a half was the right number. And it is so far. That, that seems to be holding up. Gotcha. I got some other questions from viewers not necessarily related to Super Bowl. So I'll just ask you this, Johnny. I've never been in Vegas, I don't think, for Super Bowl week. But I've heard it's off the chain, as they say. Uh, So what's it going to be like this weekend? What's it normally like, and what's it going to be like this weekend? What I've normally said about Vegas for the Super Bowl is if you can't make it to Vegas for the Super Bowl, you might consider going to the game itself. Uh, that's, <laughs> but this year, uh, you know, the hotel occupancy is 25 and those big parties are just not going to happen uh, for the first time in many, many years. So uh, Vegas will be back, but we'll have to wait another year if you're planning on coming out for the Super Bowl. There you go. Good answer. Uh, And lastly, from Todd, he says, when do future odds come out for the NFL next year? I need the L.A. Rams odds to win the Super Bowl. Is that like a Monday type thing? Are they? They're out. Yeah, Yeah, we've had those out about a week. Yeah, we, we, we like to jump the gun, you know? Oh, come on, Todd. They've been out a week. Where you been? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so you can you can check it with DraftKings. Frenzy's got one more for you, Charlie. John. Do you have the Canadian Football League? Do you have it? Oh yeah. You have the Canadian Football League? Uh, yeah, we we surely do the Canadian Football League. Yes. What's the odds on the season being this year? Have you heard anything about that? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the affirmative on that. I mean, uh, you know, uh, everybody's still planning, uh, and and things are getting better. And let's hopefully. Let's hope that things continue to progress. But, uh, yeah, I'm hopeful. I, you know, I'm not the one making a decision, but I'm very hopeful. All right. No kidding. Johnny, thanks for your time. Enjoy the game, my man. Stay safe. We'll do it again soon. Thank you much, guys.
the great Johnny Avello. <laughs> the I I I got to get his title right. Chief Gaming Officer at DraftKings in Vegas. He's been down there 35 years. An original New York guy, Lynch. Oh yes, I can believe that. <laughs> you oh, can tell yeah, by listening something. to him. That's something. Eh? He was at the win for many many years. Costa Marigas watching the program in real time with Costa Marigas. He says, love this guy. A great chat. Very interesting. <laughs> uh, from Caesar. Ha, ha, ha. The big game in Vegas. They aren't allowed to use the name Super Bowl. I don't know anything about that. Uh, I think that's all we got. Frenzy, what's the last word before I let you go? And uh, we'll bring in our special guest. Uh, it's been a great show, as they always are for the most part. <laughs> you know why? When are they not? <laughs> That's right. I'm disappointed today. You know who I am. But uh, hopefully we're going to get a real good defensive end from somewhere and be right back in the thick of things. Right now, I think we're probably in fighting for third place. All right. Gotcha. All right, Frenzy. Have a great yeah. weekend. Enjoy the game. Take right. your headphones off. Oh, I will do that. Always forgetting all that. Every week he forgets. <laughs> I'm going to do a sports update here now. The Frenzy walk-off, everybody. Here you go. Sports update, the Toronto Raptors face a stiff test as they, hang on a sec, guys, take a, face a stiff test as they look for their third win in a row tonight. Toronto's in Brooklyn facing Canadian coach Steve Nash and his Nets. The Raptors are coming off a home-and-home -home sweep of the Orlando Magic. It was capped by a franchise record 54-point outing by point guard Fred Van Vliet. Off night for all Canadian teams in the NHL. Five American teams are on the schedule, though. The marquee matchup features the Boston Bruins against the host Philly Flyers. The teams are tied for first in the Mass Mutual Division and second overall in the NHL standings. Frenzy, we're still on the air here. Round two of the PGA Tours Waste Management Phoenix Open today. He don't care. Canadian Adam Hadwin sat four strokes off the lead after shooting a 4-under 67 in the first round. Americans Matthew Nesmith and Mark Hubbard share the lead. Canadians Corey Connors and Nick Taylor are also in the field. Kaylee Humphreys and Lolo Jones of the United States lead at the midway point of the Women's Bobsled World Championship. Humphreys drove to the fastest time in each of the two runs today. It's going on in Europe. The final two runs are Saturday. Humphreys is a former Olympic gold medalist for her home country of Canada. The sports update for the Tab Brew House and drive through liquor store corner of Rochdale and Pasqua and for Ben Cahoon's G2G Protein Bars, now with eight amazing flavors, including the new Almond Mocha, RP Show viewers get 20% off with the promo code RP Show. Order yours now at g2gbars.ca. This Flame Tech Football Friday continues after this break. You're watching the RP Show on Game Plus TV Network, Facebook and YouTube Live, and listen live for Suds Full Service Car Wash at rodpeterson.com. Head to youtube.com slash the Rod Peterson Show now. You gotta subscribe. Click the subscribe button for all the content you may have missed. It's time to trade and upgrade at Capital GMC. We continue to follow strict COVID-19 guidelines, but we've also made it easier than ever to skip the showroom and shop online. Trade up to an all-new 2021 GMC Yukon, Sierra, or Buick Encore GX and get super low payments and super high trade-in values all month long. Plus, shop online or in-store and shop worry-free with our great selection of certified pre-owned vehicles. It's time to trade and upgrade at Capital GMC in Regina. Hey, it's Warren Dean. I understand more than anyone how changing weather affects your day, and that's no different for your vehicle. That's why I look to the experts at Suds Full Service Car Wash. They have a wide range of exterior washes, including Lava Shield with Towel Dry. Looking good, Natalie and Kirby. And don't forget their famous Suds Ultimate. Thoroughly cleans the interior of your car. Open Monday to Saturday, no appointment necessary. Head to Suds Full Service Car Wash today, where they treat you like family. At Prairie Mobile, you can get the phone you want when you want. All smartphones are $0 every day. With convenient locations across Saskatchewan, Prairie Mobile, your Sastel authorized dealer, has you covered. Visit us online at prairiemobile.com. Introducing Original 16 Hard Seltzer. 
The refreshing taste of delicious peach with vodka made in Saskatchewan. New Hard Seltzers from Original 16. There's something for everyone at the Mad Greek Eatery. Delicious Greek dishes, pizza, lasagna, pastas, soups, salads, and much more. The Mad Greek Eatery brings the best authentic Greek cuisine right to you. Available for licensed dining, events, delivery, and takeout. For the best taste and huge portions, there is only one place. Visit the Mad Greek Eatery, downtown Moose Jaw. Call for takeout and delivery today. IKS Live. IKS Live. Western Canada's premier production services company. LED. LED sign rentals. Video. Video production. Event, event management. Look no further than IKS Live. Visit our website. IKS Live. Always the best seat in the house. IKS Live. back and kicking it let's head back to the studio here's rob all right welcome back everybody we've taken care of a lot of business today we've got through the uh, cfl report we've got our sports updates dupont will come back later on for overtime we'll get into the poll results and we've had viewer takeover the whole show the inmates have kind of been running the asylum today so i'm pulling back on the ring and our, my good friend keith Janot here ceo of direct west joining us in the bunker it's been a while since we've chatted how are you keith I'm good. His mic died. How come I don't hear him? You got it. They didn't have your mic on, All but right. it's good now. Yeah. Yeah, hey, you know. you're loud and proud. All right. Not easy times, Keith. And uh, we've been together, your brand, our brand, for about a year, I think. And um, a few things have happened in that time. Yeah, there's been a little bit, yes. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, and for those that don't know that are watching all across the continent, Direct West, do you want to explain what you do? Sure. Uh, Direct West is a marketing services company. It was born out of uh, the, the telco and the Yellow Pages industry, and we've just, of course, transformed our, our business along with everyone else. We look after a lot of small, medium-sized businesses across the province, handing their digital media for them, and uh, this seemed to be a nice fit. You're a modern approach to digital media and how things, uh, you know, how people like to consume, and so we thought this aligned really good with our brand. Um, and so, you know, we're, we're spending a lot of time right now talking to businesses that have been affected by this pandemic. And that's that's the point. I mean, we've been hammering home with the help of Direct West, supporting local. Yes. Uh, within your, if you're not in Saskatchewan, shop local in the province or state that you're in, right? Yeah, that's that's, that's right. Cut, we're trying to connect each other. Yep. So what sorts of things are Direct West doing to help? Because you deal with how many, like... Thousands of businesses. Yeah, right? I mean, literally, it's thousands. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if you're talking about folks that we'll actually market or do some form of marketing plan for, it's it's you know it's around eight thousand. So, and that's just in the province of Saskatchewan is where we operate, and and so it's, we've been hearing a lot. And of course, when you deal with that many businesses, you deal with a wide variety of of industries. So you have some, of course, that during the pandemic have been hit very hard when you talk about things like, especially during the full lockdown, like restaurants and beauty salons and things like that. And then, of course, we've had some other, you know, businesses that have thrived through this that you also work with. You know, uh, we mentioned RV dealers earlier. Uh, if you were selling uh, trampolines this year, you had a great year. Um, yep. And so forth. So, yeah, we've been working with uh, all of those when the, you know, when this first hit and the lockdown came in, one of our big, you know, our largest priority was to protect the health of our employees and our customers. So we took as many staff as we could, moved them home as fast as we could. And we've done a lot more, you know, adoption of new technologies to operate with our customers using video chat and so forth. And, and uh, you know, and then we did a few other things. We altered some of our sales programs to allow a little more flexibility in the terms, depending upon how you were being affected by the, you know, by the economic changes that were going on. 
Uh, we had a deferral payment plan we put in place in order, to, again, to you know give people a little bit of relief from some of the slowdown they were going in their business. Um, you know, outside of that, we uh, we tried to do some public good type things. Uh, I'm not sure if you know everyone would be aware, but we run a, a very large footprint of digital billboards across the province, and so we made sure we put up all that good safety messaging around wash your hands, distance, etc. Uh, published that around. Uh, uh, the province and then we did a really big buy local campaign and, <laughs> and come back in and you know buy from the folks here that live here in your community and you know put people to work you know of these points here and you just rattled them off off the top of your head that doesn't <laughs> surprise me that you could do that but see with me you know me long enough the digital media i've social media i've always kind of got yeah. i've been doing it a long time and nobody th i never thought twice about it until the pandemic hit and then you realize not everybody understands it yeah right and, I, and one thing i learned too is business owners are busy running their business yeah right not tweeting and and instagramming and that so with this curbside delivery and yeah. uh pickup and yeah. everything that's been a huge thing that you've been able to help businesses yeah out and that's a good that's a good point rod i mean what we've seen now is an acceleration towards we were where we were going anyway but now the now the sense of urgency has picked up so if you hadn't had e-commerce in the past you want it now uh you know, and, and of course, we spent a big portion of the early days, and we've done this ongoing during the pandemic. When you manage this many customers, you have to tell their customers where they add in their COVID management. Are they open? Are they closed? Are they curbside? Are they delivery? Uh, that sort of thing. And so what we've seen is a big push from a lot of customers to say, I have to find new ways to get my goods to market. And I think to some extent, you know, you think about some of the long-term effects on what this means so far as you know economics go in in around the province and and you think about things like do i need as much footprint as i used to uh on my on my building do i do i need more staff on delivery now than i do on front end and and things like that so these businesses are going through a tremendous amount of change and it's all been rushed the digital evolution has been rushed upon them yeah. uh you know much smart because of this pandemic and change is stressful and uh, Direct West can help them alleviate that. So Absolutely. he's a hockey guy, by the way. His son's a high-level hockey player. You're on is the Hockey Regina Board or SHA Board? SHA. Yeah. The Saskatchewan Hockey Association. Yeah. So <clears throat> for our MySask 411 Business of the Week, we're going to stay in the hockey realm here. It is extreme hockey. Jason Degelman and his family and staff are exactly the kind of local business that we need to support. Direct West has helped Extreme with their web strategies in both management of their website and marketing on Google, marketed them on our digital outdoor network. Yep. And of course, we market them on MySask411. They're our business of the week, Extreme Hockey. What would uh, you like people to know about them? I think, you, you know, you certainly covered a bit of it. When you think about Jason Degelman and his family, what they do in this community it isn't just they sell you, you know, great quality products at a, at a good price that, you, you know, you don't have to go to the box store to get or order it in that brown box with the black smile. I mean, you get to touch it, feel it. They put back in the community. You wouldn't believe that, you know, just like many of the you know, sporting goods stores around the province do, whether it be Al Anderson in Saskatoon or Jeans in Prince Albert. You know, these are all companies that give back to the community. They sponsor teams. They sponsor uh, various events. Uh, you know, I chaired the Graham Tour Bantam uh, Challenge there for a couple of years. And, I mean, the companies like this are the ones giving you the goods you need in order to do prizing for players, et cetera, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, just good, you know, what you would call backbone of your community type people. And, and not only do they employ great people, but, um, you know, I thought it worth noting this past year that uh, they took on an employee with autism, which I thought was fantastic. I mean, these are the type of people we should support, people who are trying to bring in the fringe, you know, people of the economy who are trying to find their way and build yeah. their lives. And I just think that's that's just wonderful when those things happen. And his kid, Hunter, plays for the Pack Canadians, too. Right. And when my nephew asked for a football helmet for Christmas, I actually called Jason Degelman. I'm like, Degsy, do you got football helmets down there? He's like, you don't just buy a helmet for Christmas, Rod. You need to pump it up with it. Can I interest you in something else? <laughs> so that's the service. Yes. He's not going to snow you. Absolutely. Okay? He's going to do what's best for you. And in the time we have left, because it is a sports show, What's Direct West doing with the teams? Because if right. you've noticed, none are playing right here. Yeah, so when we looked at all of our sponsorships, but for focusing on sports for this conversation, we thought it was very important to leave our funds in place. So as seasons didn't go ahead and, and as things are getting canceled slowly over time, you know, obviously we just saw the rush announcement yesterday and so forth, our position has, be, has been to leave the funding in place 
because they still have overhead in many cases, and then defer the value we might be getting out of those sponsorships. And then some of the entities have been a bit creative to still try and deliver it in, in, you know, in other ways uh, right now. But we really didn't want to be part of the problem uh, by removing those uh, funds from these various entities. And I mean, we deal with a wide group. Uh, you mentioned, you know, we, we work with associations that represent kids, such as uh, SASC hockey, SAS soccer, and so forth. And then we get directly involved with teams or leagues, whether it be SJHL, major partner with SJHL. Yeah. We just picked up Junior B this year for this reason. Uh, we thought there's a, there's a league that needs help too. Um, and working with them, work with the local Regina Rams here. We obviously have been involved with the Riders for a long time. Saskatchewan Soccer Association. You got it. Yeah, yeah. The Rush, I think I already mentioned yeah. and so forth. So that's been our position in how we're going to try and, again, give back to the community. We live here. This is this is our thing, you know. Um, and so that's a that's just part of being a good citizen. And if I may, just in the two minutes that we have left here, I want to hit home by local again because... I think people are getting used to the pandemic, Keith. We're yep. 10 months into it, and it's these businesses are still hurting. As, as a matter of fact, they've just a lot of them just been hanging on until now. Yep. This is not the time to give up the buy local and go buy Amazon. They need it now more than ever, and the projections I'm hearing are we could be in for another year of this yep. at least. I don't know, but I just think it's important to support your local business. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, this is... You know, these are the people that make for the good life that we have here in this province, and that's why we're such a big supporter of it. And and I and I might stress that I think people could do even more. Find go, do the little bit of extra work rather than blaming it on convenience <laughs> of the you know being able to bring up your app and order from you know Amazon. Help them make that call. They may not be e-commerce enabled yet, but you know what? They'll get you the goods and they'll figure out how you can pay for it and so forth like that. And and it pains me. I was uh, with my, one of my sons the other day in traffic, and I saw this car with the boxes were filled in the back of the Amazon boxes. And I was just like, this isn't, this, this isn't what we're supposed to be doing. And I understand there's some things you can't get local. That's fine. But, uh, you know, let's, let's make that extra effort, even if it takes a little more on our part to get this business That's to That's my point, is they were doing it for a while, and it yeah. seems like they kind of got away yes. from it. So let's stay with buy local. Yeah, so, absolutely. Well, we covered it all. Stay safe. Enjoy Super Bowl, Keith. Yeah, I will do. Thanks for having me again. All right, Keith Janot, the uh, CEO of Direct West. Dubes joins us for overtime next. We've got Jets fans writing in. They say they want Tony D'Angelo. I was that's so Monday. I was saying that on Monday. We got that and a lot more to get to next. You're watching the RP Show, Flame Tech Football Friday on Game Plus TV Network, live daily on YouTube and Facebook, and listen live for Suds Full Service Car Wash at RodPeterson.com. Head to youtube.com slash the Rod Peterson Show now. You gotta subscribe. Click the subscribe button for all the content you may have missed. Rockstar Supply Chain Solutions is Saskatchewan's only full-service supply chain company. Strategic sourcing, PO creation, and order expediting, VMI and vending solutions, and free delivery are just a few of the supply chain services we provide. If your company needs it, Rockstar Supply Chain Solutions can get it for you. Price, quality, service, Rockstar Supply Chain Solution is helping Saskatchewan companies buy better. Some of the challenges we face with the CT technology that we have today is some of the deficiencies in around integration with some of our other systems. The addition of, of two new 40 simulators uh, within the programming of the Saskatchewan Cancer Agency is, is going to have significant impact on, on you know, the care we provide to the people of Saskatchewan. This right here is time well spent. Why not pour yourself a smooth Saskatchewan-made Original 16? Warm up to the opportunity to seize the day. It's time to trade and upgrade at Capital GMC. We continue to follow strict COVID-19 guidelines, but we've also made it easier than ever to skip the showroom and shop online. Trade up to an all-new 2021 GMC Yukon, Sierra, or Buick Encore GX and get super low payments and super high trade-in values all month long. Plus, shop online or in-store and shop worry-free with our great selection of certified pre-owned vehicles. It's time to trade and upgrade at Capital GMC in Regina. An original 16 to fit your active lifestyle. 
Introducing Original 16 Canadian Ultra Lager. Just 80 calories and 2.5% alcohol. Taste without compromise. People donate blood for moments like this. But there are lots of reasons why Canada's lifeline needs donors every day. Like the fact that someone with leukemia can eat up to eight units of blood a week. Or that donated blood lasts no longer than 42 days. Or to help new moms and babies, like Henry. There's lots of reasons to donate blood. That's why we need donors every day. The need for blood is constant. Join Toyota and our Toyota dealers in supporting Canada's lifeline. Universal Collision Center is Saskatchewan's premier auto body shop. Our extensive process ensures that every vehicle that comes through our state-of-the-art facilities is returned pre-accident condition and that every UCC customer experience is an easy one. We're certified to repair all makes, all models, and all luxury brands, and Universal Auto Spa offers full-service detailing packages to suit you and your vehicle. Plus, we're the official body shop of your Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Universal Collision Center, 3910 Rochdale Boulevard and 2355 First Avenue in Regina. You got something to say? You want to add to the show? What are you waiting for? Don't just sit there. Say something. Now, back to the studio with Rod. And Moose DuPont's here. Remember him? We haven't seen him for hours. Hi. Are we going to name that Moose <laughs> Andre? We could. That, Andre. Somebody suggested That's that. That's good. I don't mind Thanks, that. Panks, for the Moose. Nickname Moose. I know we only got a couple. Well, we got some time here in uh, the overtime segment. I'm going through, I'm going through YouTube comments here. I think Ryan, our technical producer, says we've hit on something. He's like the YouTube comments are where it's at. Yeah. Nothing against Facebook, but I don't know. It's a different. It's a different group of people. But are you, are you seeing right? We've just opened a new club, and they're all <laughs> yeah. slowly trick. They're getting word right. They're getting word, and they're slowly trickling over. The booze is cheaper over here. The girls are hotter. And all, and all of a sudden you get those messages. I'm trying out Facebook today. <laughs> I know. No cover ever. Anyways, Brandon Sosa says the Jets need to sign Tony D'Angelo. And I'm like, yes. I didn't I say that Monday? You said it this week. Yeah. And it's like there is a huge gargantuan difference between football players and hockey players. Believe me, been around them my whole life. But you got Le'Veon Bell, Leonard Fournette, A B over here. You got hockey players like Tony D'Angelo over here. Do you know what I mean? So it's like if you get a a label on you in hockey, it's tougher to shake, I think, than football. Yeah. But I don't think Tony D'Angelo's done. No. But once Super Bowl's over, maybe that could be our poll question is, should the Winnipeg Jets trade for or sign Tony D'Angelo? And I'd like to think they could use the help. They're 7-3-1. They, they, they don't have big problems. But I think, what did we say? We, I know I'll prove that we said it because we said, let's put him in a room with Chevy for five minutes. Yeah. And you said, throw Paul Maurice in there too. I know. I remember. I can tell you who's coming out. Yeah. Those guys. Oh, yeah. And, and he'll have been changed. We know there's a ton of interest for Tony D'Angelo. It's been reported that there's a lot of interest out there. He's a great defenseman. He's a good defenseman. But it's just a matter of how much are you willing to deal with? And I think some teams will be willing to deal with it. Greg Clevegard says the Jets will be fine without line A. The drama is gone, but that's evident. But he scored last night and they won. So I hope it works out for both sides. Brent Kuhlman says, thanks for another great week, guys. Thank you, Brent. Craig Smith, our director of scouting, says little moose and big moose. <laughs> All right there. So I understand you have given Ryan something to. We got our picks. Your oh, picks. it's our books? Your, Your picks? picks. Okay, well, picks. it's not a shock for mine because I've been saying it all week, but. Throw it up, guys, if you want. Here are the picks of all of – just us? I thought you were going to do all our panelists. I do, but you've got them all written down. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have the master You need them in our post-show meeting. But that will go into our social media. But this is ours, and uh, we're on the same page. Now you know what our post-show meetings are all about. Yeah. It's talk like this. Yeah. It's chaos. Oh, so, yeah. 
Oh, we got lots of time left. Am I going to read comments here for the rest? Yeah, whatever we want to do. I mean, we know why you're picking Tampa, right? I mean, Tom, it's Tom. You can't go against your guy. Wasn't it you that said bet against your team because it's win-win? Didn't you say that? Yeah, and I usually do, but I'm go- <laughs> I'm just I'm putting it all, all on the table. Um, probably wear the TB12 shirt. And uh, I'm going with with Brady and uh, and the Bucks. Too. I actually have a Bucks shirt, as you know. Yeah. And people think that it's. I'll never forget. I was in a mall in Tampa Bay. It's just down from the Crown Plaza. I can't remember the name of it, but I was in the food court, and I was wearing a Bucks visor, that Bucks pullover, quarter zip, and <laughs> shorts, and uh, athletic shoes, if you will. Guy comes up to me. He's like, "Hey, coach, go get him on Sunday." I'm like. I'm just going to go with it. Oh, yeah. You thought I was an assistant coach of the Buccaneers. Yeah. I Com- know. Compliment, of course. Of course. But, but I'm like, maybe I need to lay off with the visor and the... Yeah, you don't have you to know? go full. You can pick one piece. Yeah, I know. Look like a member of the pep band. Right. Wayne in Victoria, B.C. says, I like both Facebook and YouTube, but I'm used to Facebook. It's so whatever you're comfortable with, Wayne. We'll stay on both platforms for some time, but at least you're able to... Pivot. Yeah. You know. This is interesting. Chris Bird says it's easier to watch the RP show on TV with YouTube. Didn't you start on YouTube, Chris, and then you came back to Facebook? I thought. And it looks outstanding. Ah, it's super does it? clear. It looks super crisp. I don't think I look outstanding, but the, sh- the screen probably <laughs> does. Taylor Soley says, hey, Rod, the Riders do something in free agency now that they let Charleston Hughes go. Well, we've been, uh, what should I say? teased, previewed that the Riders are going to have a big announcement on Tuesday. I'm wondering who that might be. Is it if, if, if they've re-signed Cameron Judge, is it huge news? Who is out there? They're not going to go after Enoch Mwamba. I, I would be shocked if they did. And if they overpaid for anybody, it just proves that they didn't really want Charleston Hughes. Yeah. Not You're finding money. money for somebody else. It's not about money. Charleston said that, even on Twitter. Since it's not about the money, it's about who you want and who you don't want. They didn't want. I'm laughing at rock stars Darnell Theris. He says, "Sure, pick on the Red Wings while I'm driving. <laughs> Have a great weekend." Oh, you were listening, were you? Roxanne was listening, <laughs> and feed fed the information. You had your time, Darnell, and it was great time. Uh, our director of scouting, Craig Smith, says, "Is it the West Shore Plaza in Tampa? That's the one." With an unbelievable P.F. Chang's and a tremendous massage area. Cool. DG in Saskatoon writes us, Huge thank you to Direct West and Keith. Specifically, they keep so many of our sports and community programs in Saskatchewan running through their sponsorships. It does not go unnoticed. They're from DG in Saskatoon. So, wonderful week. Oh, yeah. Super week. Presented by Original 16 Ultra Lager. An Original 16 to fit your active lifestyle. Superior taste with only 80 calories and 2.5% alcohol. Taste without compromise. Get your bets in with Come On Canada at comeon.com or download the app. And we'll see you Monday with Bola Combo of the BC Lions. The Argos, John Murphy. Also coming up next week, Matthew Martimi and Brent Sopal. It's going to be great. Thanks for joining us on a Flame Tech Football Friday here on Game Plus. Are we brainless? Yes. Yes.